and today we're going to be resetting the uh, steering wheel sensor so um, the the problems which can be uh, with the steering wheel sensor um, it could be the actual some messages on the dash um, after you remove the battery or replace the battery it still can be the problem some messages can pop up the steering wheel not going to be uh, going i mean staying in the zero position we open up the impa cable detected yes ignition is on which is in our uh, body style in 90 apparently go to chassis option then we go uh, apparently for the dxc because my car is x drive go press ok and uh, go into the f6 SDL. I just showed you the SDL name for the steering anyway and then go to the calibration logistic sensor so it's gonna be the F3 make sure your steering wheel in a level position and we press in the F3 some message is gonna pop up like uh, all-wheel drive DSC ABS EBV and stuff like that So after that, basically your steering is resetted. You just drive a couple hundred, um, couple hundred yards, and uh, you should be all set. The messages should goes away and stuff like that. Every single time, whenever you disconnect the battery, your ABS or old drive system will be on. And this is gonna be a little odd, but after a couple hundred feet for yards. I'm gonna goes away. Hello well, guys, and today we're gonna be uh, trying to calibrate the actual SAS system um, steering angle sensor. So we're gonna be using the Istagui, Ista Plus, uh, also call. We also can use Toolset 32. Uh, I might gonna add some options for it, but the easiest way to go into the Ista Plus, Istagui, and we'll read some data uh, shortly. Also, you have to prepare the seven last digits from the win number. Um, ta -dum, ta -dum. You go under the operation and uh, type it up the win number. The accept, uh, you also can double check uh, the connection between the car and a, a laptop with the IMPA system. But so far, uh, we reading some data, the basic data from the car. And we'll see if it will work. We're gonna go for the test. And uh, your OBD uh, DD can cable will have to start blinking. If it's blinking, it's all good. If it's uh, not blinking, you gotta reconnect the cable. Uh, actually, you can be in the same stage uh, in the app, but uh, you gotta reconnect the cable. So apparently, it's working fine. And as you've seen, it's add couple options in there. Now we're gonna go to the service functions. Go to the chassis. Cruise control, steering angle sensor. So uh, the steering angle sensor, this is the basic information, and the SEL DSC steering angle sensor adjustment. So if we go through the procedure, we have our uh, basic uh, basic uh, following jobs adjustments, what we've done to the car, or what we want to do with it. Um, so we're just hitting next, and cutting off DSC unit, replacing or DSC control unit. So that was this SEL replace or bring you in slice? No, we did not replace for the new one. Then do you wish to end the test module? No, we wish to continue. So uh, from that step, we got to make sure the steering wheel is super straight and we hit continue. Attention, the steering wheel must be positioned horizontally. Otherwise, this may cause problem during vehicle operation. Zero point of steering angle is detected as faulty. The adjustment procedure is started in the next test step. So we hit him, okay, and now we get adjustment started. So some messages just pop up, um, the old drive DSC, ABS, EVD system. I'm sorry for not showing you that second. Uh, turn off ignition, wait approximately 10 seconds, and switch on ignition again, continue in the next step. Shut down the car, wait 10 seconds, follow the steps. Now pop the key back, turn on the ignition, and hit the continue. Uh, 
The cable is connecting right now. Adjustment of the steering angle was successful. Visually, again, the steering wheel is horizon position to check zero position of the steering angle. Wheel in straight ahead position. Steering angle, zero degrees. So, hit continue. With the steering wheel is horizon position, does the display steering angle zero degrees? Tolerance plus minus two degrees. Yes. So, adjustment of steering angle was carried out correctly. Uh, and the lights run flat indicator if necessary. See owner's handbook. The test module is ended in the next next test step. So, basically right now, we're supposed to have our steering wheel uh, looking straight and everything uh, which is on the uh, steering wheel, which is the, uh, which is the SAS and uh, SDL, is supposed to work just correctly. <laughs>